This video is going to test the viability of using ChatGPT to speed up various analytics workflows in R. We'll do this by asking ChatGPT to aid us in five tasks. Creating a sample dataset, generating summary statistics, creating a ggplot visualization, writing a Shiny app, and creating an XGBoost model. Our first prompt is going to be, write R code that will create a sample data frame which contains customer data. We can see that ChatGPT begins to create a data frame named customer data with columns named customer ID, name, age, email, and city. Once the code is generated, ChatGPT then gives us a brief explanation of what it just created. Let's now copy this code into RStudio and make sure it runs. As you can see, we are given a data frame with five rows of sample data. Our next prompt will be create an R script which will generate summary statistics for the MT cars dataset. We are immediately given the simple answer of using the summary function accompanied by an explanation of what it does. We are then given another option which will generate summary statistics for selected variables only. Next, we are given code which utilizes the describe function from the psych package. The final option we are given uses the summary by function from the do by package. Now, let's copy our code into RStudio to make sure it works and to view the results. If we run our code, we can see that the summary functions work, but we need to install the psych and do by packages to continue. Now that the packages are installed, we can run the code again. We can see that all of the options provided by ChatGPT for summary statistics performed as expected. Our third prompt is going to be generate R code for a ggplot2 graphic that allows viewers to get an overview of the iris dataset. We are then presented with an example that seems like it should run just fine. Let's copy this code into RStudio to make sure it works and see what the resulting graph looks like. It looks like ChatGPT gave us a viable graphic based on the prompt we gave it.
Our fourth prompt will be, write a shiny app which allows users to plot different dimensions of the MT cars dataset. The app informs us that it is a text-based AI model and cannot write a shiny app, but then proceeds to write the code for what looks like a mostly functional app. After ChatGPT generates the code, it gives us a plain text explanation of what we should expect the app to do once deployed. Let's copy the code into RStudio and run the app to see what the output is. While we do have a functioning app, we can see that something isn't quite right. We only have one data point, and the plot is barely responsive. We should be able to fix these issues with just a few small tweaks to the code that was generated by ChatGPT. First, we'll need to move the aesthetics out of the geom point function. And then we just need to define our X and Y data a little bit better. If we run the app again, it should be working as expected. Overall, I would say the generated code is still fairly useful despite the small tweaks that needed to be made. Our final challenge for ChatGPT will be to generate an XGBoost model. For this, the prompt will be, create an XGBoost model in R which predicts the miles per gallon on the MT cars dataset. The app types out a model that passes the sniff test, and even gives a tip on tweaking parameters. Let's copy it into RStudio and see if it runs. I'm going to comment out line 2 as I already have the package installed, and then run the remaining code. We can see that the code failed to run because it passed data frames into the model rather than matrices. Let's change those structures and then run it again. Once again, we have data frames where we need matrices. Let's fix it and see if it runs. It seems like the model now runs without issues after just a couple of adjustments. Once again, I would say the generated code is still pretty useful. Let me know what you think about the future of AI in analytics workflows, or if you've already used it to come up with anything cool.